Okay guys, it's been a while, but we are back in business for the G. I got PBM coilovers as well as PBM lug nuts, which is very nice. Oh, if I could get it out. Here are the PBM lug nuts. They are gonna do much better than my other ones that started rusting on me. Yeah, a coilover install. It has been a while since I did anything like this. By the end of this video, my car should be slammed. <laughs> I'll give you guys a look at the coilovers. These are competition coilovers by PBM Part Shop Max. Right now they are completely maxed out. I'm gonna put it on the car like that, see how it sits. I'm sure I'm gonna need to raise the fronts, but uh, the rears I'm gonna keep maxed out. Okay, let's go inside the garage now. So, here is my current suspension setup. It is a bit hard to see. Let me get a light. This is my current suspension setup. Nothingness, because I already sold it. As for arms that I have, I have, I have a Voodoo toe arm and SPC camber arm right here. Those are all pretty much essential in getting your car how you want it to look. And for the front, I have a PBM angle kit, which is that orange thing right there, and ISR upper control arms. Missing the coilovers right now, because they're over there. Since the car's already up, it should be a fairly quick and easy process. Hopefully nothing severe happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Hi, Lou. Hi, RJ. So, what's going on? So, RJ, you're here to help me. And we're going to tag team this. Let's see where we get. Here are my wheels. But before we get into anything, this is my work van. And I want to show you what happened when I was working. It's kind of funny and scary at the same time. So this is the brake caliper. But look what's missing. There's no pad. I'm pretty sure it like got super thin and slid out. So these two are fucked, and I have to get a new rotor and pad. Also for this side. Oh, well, I already have it taken out, but yeah, that's sketch. All right, RJ, let's do this. Yeah. I never have a filmer. Oh, wow. Today I do. Okay. I'm getting paid for this, right? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you guys a story. The first set of coilovers I had in the rear, there's these studs right here. You probably can't see it because it's too dark. But yeah, I over tightened it and then the, the studs snapped. And yeah, that was a pain to get out, but you have to hammer it out. I think it's like welded on up top. So I just found a random bolt the same size and thread pitch and JB welded it up there. No, no, no. Okay. This is easy though. Oh, I might need a jack. Wait, should I get this YouTube thing another shot? Yeah. Dude, since I'm basically starting over. Hey, do you think. Okay, so RJ. RJ is. Oh, yeah. Not the Week Fest video that you guys saw, the FRS. That crazy one? Should he start a YouTube channel? Should I? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He should. I think everyone should. Because, I mean, it's something for yourself. You know? Once I was done and all torqued down, I usually am never anal about torquing it, but I guess today I am. Let's do the fronts now. Uh -oh. I already introduced it, but this is PBM. I like how they're all locking too, even though someone could probably source this and steal my wheels. But, yeah, let's go. The thing I about like these, oh, I wonder if this is low enough. I just want to see how low it goes to see if I need to take out a ring. You need to take out a ring? Oh, that's done. Yeah, it's done. So a ring would bring me right here. And if I want to go lower, then I'd have to get camber. All right, we're going to take out a ring. Luckily, we did take a look at it, though. Sadly, this is the height maxed out with both of the rings. I'm just going to take out Two. I'd say that's like an inch, right, Archer? I hope so. Do these people know the stance secrets? Mm, what stance secrets? There's no secrets in this. I don't know. Some people are like, what the heck? Taking out a ring? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you find yourself maxed out and you're able to 
go down like so this is like hollow and the threads are like able to go further but if yours isn't and is like bottomed out then you can't really do anything except like mess with your preload which RJ recommends I don't huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding I'm anything. kidding I have to get this off somehow one is off and the main reason why I got this though is because the fronts was too low and I want to drive my car everywhere as you guys know I want to bring you guys to all these food places oh, this is a new segment we're having or what yeah we can go to Bonchon after this all right Bonchon okay oh this is maxed out really you can shave, shave it yeah. Ah, that's such a disappointment how it being maxed out is not even low. I thought PBM, I had way higher expectations for PBM, but RJ is now grinding it down for me. Honestly, RJ, you're a genius. So what you're doing is doing the disc first and then he's gonna sand it down. Oh boy. Gonna have to do this for both sides. A minor setback, that's all. Thank you, RJ. Let's see. Well, try it out first. Yeah, he did this because he has glasses to make sure you have safety. Thanks to RJ once again. See right here, it's grinded down. For PBM, you're probably gonna have to do that. I don't know about other coils, but. Yeah, it's completely maxed out, these two rings. A little over an inch, I'd say. This is the max it will go. I'm hoping that it is as low as I want it to where, I'm hoping it's at least around here. Cause before I was like above that line right here. Time to spray this thing. We got a paint booth and everything. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna definitely get it on my hand. Oh my god. Oh damn, you made a banana. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of looks ugly, but whatever. <laughs> That's good. For now, yeah. It seems to be like I jinxed myself because if you look at this, this is the coilover bolt. When we were taking out the coilover that we already installed that was not completely maxed out yet because uh, we didn't take out the rings somehow I guess I stripped it and me using all the Freaking might I have he has a lot of might <laughs> I saw yeah. Veins popping out. yeah <laughs> so I guess I I broke it I thought the wrench slipped but I was like how yeah that didn't happen this broke and luckily I didn't get too hurt I'm not hurt really but this whole thing is going to have to be a two day thing, two day video. We're going to put this one on and see how low it is. This is the last checkup of the day because it's been long enough and we got to this. Ready? Moment of truth. Let's see. Please be low. <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, we got this far today. I'll maybe catch you guys in. Another day, I don't know when, but yeah. Okay boys, here's our culprit today. We're gonna have to source me a new nut and bolt. I'm gonna go to the dealer and get a nut. For As for the bolt, they don't have it in stock anywhere, so I'm gonna try to go to a hardware store. Hopefully they have a similar one. See, the thing is, I don't know if there's different strengths in bolts as well. I don't wanna get one that's too weak and I end up ruining my car in turn of doing that. Along with my car yesterday, the van went wrong too. The So I replaced the rotor. I couldn't replace the pads yet because the piston took a shit on me, essentially, and I wasn't able to compress it. Yeah, that was a hassle, so I ordered the caliper and it's on the way. So I'm in a grocery store right now. Although there is an Ace Hardware in it, surprisingly. Let's see what they have. 
Let's try good old Nissan. Third store, shake my head. Yes, after the third and final hardware store, I now have the hardware in order to install my coils. It is gonna get done today unless, I'm not even gonna say. Well, if you ever find yourself in the situation installing coilovers in the rear and snap off your bolt and nut, here you go. This one, it snapped. So I had to get a, a new one. I asked the guy what's closest he has, showed me this. I made sure it was automotive grade and this Teflon supposedly helps with vibration. Yesterday, I only got one corner done. I have three more to go. The second day is always easier. Taking out the rings. Hi, man. What are you doing? Taking out the two rings. Huh? Off the two weeks. Yeah, about to do the same thing that RJ did last time Although he's not here, so I have to do it alone the the rear should be finished after this So I'll show you guys that when I'm done and get to the fronts Look at this That was a whole ass circle now. It's nothingness fronts are super easy Definitely a one-man job. We got this One more thing, I almost totally forgot. I'm on my way to Elite Performance to get my tires mounted to size up from my previous setup because I was too low. Yeah, I'm still not finished. <sighs> Hold on, wait a second. I didn't think I should record this, but I got food while I wait for my tires to get mounted. So, I mean, I got it from Triple X Chicken in Burlingame. I got the cheese and chicken. It has a mozzarella patty and a chicken patty. This isn't a food channel, but I thought, why not show this to you guys? Look at that, oh my god. Whoa. All right, thank you, bye. Again. Thank you to Melody and Gary at Elite Performance. They're always treating me right compared to all the other shops. The only thing is, you gotta schedule beforehand. Um, they're getting pretty busy, so hit them up. Fresh meat. So, these are gonna go on one side and the chrome ones on another. Oh. The moment I've been waiting for, we get to lower this thing on the ground and see how it actually sits. I have a feeling. So the fronts are maxed out. I don't think it's gonna be the height I want, but the higher the better. I got my Mod 5s that are gunmetal on this side. Oh my God, it looks complete. And then chromies on this side. Jeez. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Golly. Oh my god. Dude. This is crazy. Why is this side so low? Oh my god. Wait. Why is this side? Seems like something's wrong. It should not be like that. Let's just take a moment to take this in. While it's at this height, this is PBM coilovers 
completely maxed out with a PVM angle kit. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep it at that this height, but as demonstration, this is how low you can go with the angle kit and the coilovers. There's no gap right here, but I plan on having like a two finger gap in the front at least, just to clear everything. Surprisingly, the coilovers are set equally and the height is equal. With the BCs, I had to go a half an inch higher on one side to make it look equal. And man, does this look wild. The rears, man. So I am fender to lip on this side. Although for this one, I'm a little bit higher, but it's probably because of the uneven surface. I'm going to leave it like that. It looks amazing. I am hyped on how this car is at the moment. Not drivable though. I only rolled it and it was rubbing on anything you could think of. Really wish I could take her out for a drive.